Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the bench. Uh, today is going to be a uh, quick video on some shelves and racks. Um, even though I've gone over these uh, a few times on the channel, I'm going back a few years, um, I had some questions about certain racks that I use, and I actually got a bunch of new uh, units in, uh, little drawer type storages, and we're going to go over those quick. Um, because I think you guys uh, might like this stuff. And uh, as I'm kind of redoing the room over, I need more storage and getting stuff off the bench and against the wall. And uh, we'll go over that in a second. But first, I understand today the Celestial Dragon Collection um, was released from Gallery. There's only going to be 300. And this is of their beautiful package of their Morpheus set. Both Morpheus airbrushes. Check that out. And also, two stands, which is really nice uh, to go with each one. You're going to get the point two and the point three. Is the point three quite a bit, actually? And I actually put some chrome down using the point two. It's really good for laying down chrome and that type of paint. Um, I believe it's 200 bucks and uh, quite worth it, particularly with the, uh, the stands. And special packaging and a letter and some stickers from the company I'll leave that for you guys to check out it's got the full instructions for both it is a beautiful set uh, it's probably won't last the week so uh, if you want one I'll put a link below it's uh, at the gallery site where you get my awesome swallowtail airbrush and uh, the company's been very good to me and uh, actually the airbrush has been awesome it's still performing perfect as the day I got it and uh, I couldn't be more grateful. And you see them on these awesome stands that were made for me from a fellow viewer, Frank. Isn't that awesome? And it holds it beautiful. So if you didn't have a chance to get the Barbatos Rex matching stand, even though the stands are still made, just don't have my name on them, uh, to match it, you can go ahead and grab one of those. I'll, again, I'll put a link below to those. All right, so on to the video. Uh, stay tuned to the end. I got a couple of new colors to show you in my paint line. One special color that I've been working on um, for quite some time. Anyway, we're going to get this out of the way. Here we go. One other thing I want to mention is a friend of the channel also is uh, Robert Kennedy. I'll show you on my other phone. This is the paint mixer I use quite a bit. And uh, let's go ahead and grab this before we go into the rest of the video here. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. And here it is. I use this every day. It's just below the bench. What I do is I just poke my hand down there and uh, mix up what i got to mix. Now, I do a lot of uh, priming on spoons, prepping for the channel. And then, and uh, for that, I use a lot of spray can primer, particularly Mr. Color. And uh, what I do is... Sorry, guys, if I reach across for something here. Just discovered... This was, oh, hit the camera. This was on the shelf for a long time, and I finally opened it up because I like black primer, particularly their 1000 and 1500 from Mr. Color. This is their Aqueous. Uh, not a big smell in this. I might do a video just on this. I'm so impressed by it. But what I do is... You can't believe what that does. I, I usually sit here for a minute, two minutes of shaking. This is probably 20 seconds, and I am ready to go. You can hear it beating the ball around in there quite a bit, so we're really getting a lot of shaking. It's a home run ball in there. And that's it. Anyway, the reason why I am... Let me get this out of the way. Wow, that's heavy. Let me, I use that every day. Thank you, my good friend Robert, Mr. Kennedy. Anyway, it's on sale. 25 bucks off, making it 100 And that thing is a tank. And uh, free shipping. Now... That thing's heavy, and it's priority shipping. That's probably a $25 value. So you're looking at $75 bucks for that thing out the door. I don't think he has many of them, but it's got the new flat top, which is uh, the one you just saw. And, yep, there it is, the old top versus the new. And I put everything on it. You just take any jar you want, you know, uh, any any jar of paint, just push it on there. It's, it's awesome. I use that and my little green one all the time. Um, the four E's, I'll show you that. Listen. At this point, this costs more than the uh, cast iron one from Robert. So, uh, there you go. And uh, 
But thanks, Robert, for letting me know on that sale. The sale's only three days. I believe it's only three days. I only know I get these little letters in my email, like uh, when you sign up for the notifications. But uh, I thought I'd let you guys. I'll let you guys know any sale that pops up on items that I use quite a bit. And uh, that one I use every day with the airbrushes. Certain products I use every day. That's one. Anyway, let me show you what we got here for new storage units. Now this is from Harbor Freight. I left one out, but these can be attached together. They can be mounted to the wall. All right. Or they can be interlocked together. Can you see it? And they lock from the side in the top. And um, they're this kind of a storage. Look at that. And they're balanced where they close on their own. So this will hold, obviously, uh, toothpicks or uh, um, Q-tips, you know, that type of thing. I usually back here is where I'm going to try and put a lot of the shelving units across the back so it'll hold uh, my Tamiya tape and keep the tape, the dust off the tape. Let me show you how these connect. I'll do it right here if I can do it from behind the camera. And there we go. Now they're all attached perfectly. And uh, you can separate all your stuff. Let me show you how they come. I bought every one they had because I went for the last few weeks, and man, oh man, you couldn't get them. They were selling out. They're on sale for a buck ninety-nine. Not on sale. They're only two ninety-nine. But that's how they come. And uh, I got a whole bunch here. I just wanted to show you how they come. You got to peel this sticker off. That's why they don't open for shipping. And that's it. You can attach them any way you want. You know, three high, six across. I'm gonna put these on the wall. Get a lot of these little items out of the way. Put the rest down. And uh, maybe I'll put some airbrush parts in them, put a little tag on the front, label them. And, uh, yeah, they're not super big and deep for putting uh, airbrushes and whatnot in them. But they will hold a lot of these smaller items, the little mixing trays and things like that. So uh, it's a Harbor Freight item. I don't know if they ship them. They might, but... Uh, I'll put the website down, but I have a local Harbor Freight. I think there's one in every state at this point, right, guys? Anyway, let's get this out of the way. Move on to the next item. Okay, I get a lot of questions on the shelves that have my spray cans. And then at this point, everything. Uh, even little jars. <laughs> looks lost on there, but it looks good once it's stepped you know, up. But anyway, these are adjustable shelves. You can go in and out. See it? And it fits on whatever size shelf you have on your wall. Now, this is one that has a rubber coating for each step. Um, I have one that also... Hold on one second. That is not rubberized. However, it expands longer. Can you see it? And this one's glued because I, I glued this one because I didn't want it to drift off to the edge of my shelf. But I have several behind me that I haven't glued at all. They're up there pretty fine, particularly when they're in the middle. There's no need for worrying about that. Now, the other thing is I like to paint mine black. This one I didn't paint yet. Um, let me get this out of the way. Hold on, guys. I'll show you right now without you getting too dizzy. Here we go. See that? Got the Hobby Meals on there now, but that's probably not going to go up there. We're going to go all the way up. Now, at the top, you can see... That's where I got my Ravel spray cans, and that's on a stepped up also. Up there's a white one. See it? That's got stuff on it. But this one I painted black. See the difference? I think you could see the paint better. And this white one here I took right off this shelf. That's where I took it from. And um, let's make a spin around here. I'm not getting too dizzy. There we go. All this. All the Tamiya spray cans. Look at that collection of spray cans I got. Got the whole rack from the store. And all this. See how it's stepped up? These are different. These are those acrylic racks. I've gone over them already. But these two shelves, and over in the end is the one I took down to show you, are all these plastic shelves. They're about 20 bucks a piece, so it added up. But look at the difference. I got to store everything. Look, behind here is all my clears. That's all my clears. There's my AOK -OK collection. That's my primer collection. So, uh, yeah, that's all these shelves. <laughs> I, bought, I bought plenty of them. I kept the company busy. Um, Let's spin back around here. I don't want you guys. We're going to do this on a slow spin. We're in the middle now of rearranging everything. So that's why it's a bit of a mess in here. And hold on. We're back. There we go. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what these are. These are, let me look, 22 bucks. I think they're both 22 bucks. So I'll put a link below. Um, this one doesn't expand as far, but you got the rubber uh, topping on it, which is pretty nice. Um, 
But if you're going to paint them like I did and stuff, get the other ones, the white ones, and you can spray paint them. That's a Rust-Oleum can that I used, uh, probably in a test hair. Then I just used it on that when I was done with the test, and it comes out good. The black looks really good. I'll put a link below for both of these. I use these quite a bit um, in my room, as I just showed you. They've been pretty invaluable. All right. Now, let me show you some drawer storages like the one behind me now unfortunately this has some kind of rabbit handle <laughs> but they're really nice they, they have a stopper that can hold uh, an airbrush let's see if you're going to use the airbrush storage yep it's long enough to hold the airbrushes um i'm not crazy about this handle now these snapped in now maybe one of you guys out there Maybe if I mail this to one of you guys, anybody out there with a 3D printer, maybe put a B for Barbatos or something, or a BR. Man, that'd be awesome if we can uh, change these handles. I'm not, that's, I'm, I'm not against these bunny rabbits or anything. <laughs> I love animals, actually. I even raise rabbits. But uh, uh, just, it doesn't match anything. But look how awesome it is. It's modular. I can lay these anywhere I want. And they stack up nice, too. And there's a nice large shelf in here. You know, let's see what this costs. 25 bucks for all of it. And it's pretty deep. And uh, here's a can of spray can. Oh. Yep, yeah, that'll fold. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, they're, these are really nice, but uh, the handle is going to drive me nuts. But uh, it is a nice piece. So what can, I, <laughs> what can I say? I'll put a link below for this, too. I didn't realize when it showed up I had rabbit handles. They should have gave us a choice, right? Like round or square and then the rabbit but it's just this rabbit let me take this airbrush out before I forget it that's also on the stand from Frank check that out that's off to the side here anyway let's uh let's move this sorry guys through the camera I'm with you guys no edits check this one out now this one is pretty nice look at this I like it because I have quick access to some stuff on top. Like you can see, I put stuff on the top there that I reach for those all the time. And um, this is a bigger uh, area, much bigger. Not as smooth, obviously, but it can hold a lot more. And I'm, you know, I'm not uh, don't have to have quick access here to worry about how smooth it is. But I do like the shape of this. And I think two or three of these along the wall would be pretty nice. I can hold quite a bit in here. My cups. You know, uh, anything. So, uh, yeah, I do like this, but uh, let's see what this one cost me. Hold on. This was 18 so very reasonable. 18 bucks for this one. Let me go a little higher here. There we go. It was 18 bucks. So, uh, yeah, I can really put a lot in this, and I do like the wide drawers versus uh, having smaller ones. The smaller ones serve a purpose, but these also will serve a really good purpose. I can really fill these up. And uh, to have storage on the top, too, is pretty nice. So that is that one. Let me get this out of the way. Let's get these off so I can move it. And my cups. Don't lose the cups. All right. Let's get that out. All right. And the last one is behind me. So give me one second. Let me go grab that. I'm going to pause the camera for just a minute. All right, unpause the camera. Here we go. Check this set out. It's not going to sit even here because my desk is uneven. However, look at this set, how nice this is. Look at that. All right, I guess I can rearrange them. I put them anywhere I want, you know. And uh, I don't think these lock in, but... Uh, I was going to tape the side here, just put a piece of tape that would hold them right in place. And I can put like the two long ones on either end. But uh, it's really nice. It's simple. It's got a real nice look to it, being all acrylic. They, they all work perfectly. Um, really high quality, too. It's a thick acrylic for sure. And uh, this would look nice all across the back of uh, maybe this wall here. And... Um, it really has good functionality. I, I really do, uh, really do like this quite a bit. And um, yep, let me see what this costs. One second, guys. I wrote it down on the box. Thirty-five bucks for all of them. So uh, that is pretty good. 
And I guess, I mean, if you buy two of these, you can really take a whole wall and just get everything. I mean, look at the stuff I have just piling up up here. I look so neat when I'm on camera because I keep, I'm working immediately so clean. And my booth is always very clean. Um, so that stuff adding up there is starting to get to me. <laughs> it's starting to, starting to eat at my brain. And I just got to get it all organized. And I think this is the way to do it. And I could just label the front, get a label maker, just label everything. And, um, yeah, so uh, I really do like this. And I um, might even hold some cans. Oh, not quite. But you can hold a lot of uh, even some smaller paints or my uh, some of my paints here. Here's my new uh, copper fire I'm working on now. Does that fit? Yep. So, yeah, so it's pretty deep, some of these. So, uh, yeah, all the different shapes and... Uh, I don't know if they come in different forms, but I'll put the link below to this. I think you can have choices as to uh, which ones you want. But this is a master pack, and um, it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 16. There's another one that has well over 20 or 30 shelves. Like You choose how many you want, and it jumped up to 45 bucks for uh, more than this. So you choose how many you want. There's even a smaller pack where you get maybe just this or these two. Um, but yeah, if you're organizing your desk, this is the way to go. And uh, matter of fact, anything I showed you, particularly the expand the shelves, um, those are awesome. But I'll put links below to all this. I had a lot of people ask me about my uh, shelving and whatnot, so I did want to uh, uh, do a quick video so you guys can see uh, what I'm using and show you all the new products that have just shown up as we are starting to rearrange the room to get it a little more functional and a little more open space for me here as uh, I'm being consumed by... Uh, paint and products just a spot for the chair in front of the desk and the desk a little spot to get to the booth uh, that's how uh stuff we're getting here so let me get this off here i'm going to show you one of the colors that i'm developing for my new paint line which will be out within a month oops we keep it in the camera let me play this out let me show you that color before we say goodbye okay we are back let's put uh the celestial dragon back up here all right here is the color. Now, I showed you my anodized lime. It's kind of a pearlescent anodized look. Uh, this will be part of the new line. It's going to be all these anodized looking metals, uh, metal colored metals. And uh, I've been trying to get a red, and I finally got it. And there it is. Check this out. Here it is over white. Here it is over black. It's kind of this anodized metal look can you see it it's really really nice uh really quite taken when we finally got a sample of this uh very happy uh you saw some of the other colors i can show you those now but uh, nothing really yet set we haven't got the labels done we haven't started production but it's going to go quick once i get these colors picked out so can you see that it's like an anodized blue all right, this is a gold, but this is the gold over the white. Can you see it? It's like an anodized yellow. So really, really happy with these colors. I will have a purple. We're going to have two kinds of green. Not Beyond this, there's going to be two greens, uh, two blues. You know, I don't know if we're going to go with two reds. This might be the red to go with. Just spray it over black for this, spray it over white for this. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have uh, an orange. We're going to have all the basic colors covered. Also, we're going to have our magnesiums and our aluminums and silvers and golds, brass, copper, all coming to the to the line uh, all at once. We're going to have a candy line all thrown in at once. It's going to be awesome. I am very, very excited for this. And uh, I think you guys are going to love it. The paint lays down just like this perfectly every time. It doesn't run. It's just awesome. They're lacquers and uh, quite happy. So anyway, that's a little sneak peek. Check that red out. Is that awesome? I found this. T I got this today, by the way. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to get that black and the blue look. And this is uh, got the black shading off to the side. Uh, this might be it. And that's the same thing over white. Isn't that great? Anyway, guys, there you go. That is the video. I'm going <laughs> going off on a tangent on the new colors here. I'm all excited. Uh, anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to get our numbers up. We passed the 90,000 mark. This is awesome. 100,000 is the magic number. We get acknowledged. We get the plaque. A little bit uh, more in the algorithm for people when they're searching products. 
in reviews. We pop up more often. This is what the dream, this is what we're looking for. Anyway, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. I aim for two videos a week, and uh, we keep going strong here. You guys have been the best, wonderful, awesome viewers. You guys are great, and um, your kindness always shows through. And I want to thank you for that. God bless you all. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next video, which will be soon. I'm working on another one right now. Also, I'm working on a Patreon video. Somebody wants uh, oh, they want to see my lights in the booth. Somebody wants to see brown, clear brown, sprayed over two different bases. I started that already. That's coming up this week. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, uh, a little busy. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I hope you find something in this that you uh, like. Like I said, I will put a link below this video for any of the shelves that I showed here today and also for the airbrush. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful rest of the day. We will see you in the next video.